to Liberty Estate. I'm Brad Love with AFT Construction. And one of the most common questions is about the building schedule, right? And actually around my peer group, you know, clients and, you know, how's the build going schedule? And it's great. I mean, fortunately, we have an amazing team. Um, internally on this, we're working with some of our most incredible trade partners and suppliers on this project, which we're very fortunate. And one thing to note, you know, and I think it's advice for anyone building their own home is not that you overthink the build, but there's definitely a lot of thought, you know, that goes into the process, not just for how we'll live in it as a family, but also, right, as we put this out here on social media, as we look at the reason we're doing ICF, the reason we're doing the foam, why we went with Stego Matt, you know, a lot of the brands that we're working with, um, why we chose them and how they're making a big role and impact, not just on this build in particular, but really across the board on all of our projects for all of our clients. And and really what they're doing industry-wide to help us be a better builder. But at the core of it, you know, there's that saying that the cobbler's shoes, right? The cobbler has the shoes that are never taken care of and it's very similar. You know, I remember growing up, I mean, fortunately my dad would find time as he could to do handyman projects around the house, but as an electrician, you know, it's easy for the electrical in your house to get backed up because you're doing that all day. And so how it relates to being a general contractor doing your own build is keeping in mind that you know, partnering with a lot of my subcontractors and suppliers on this build. Well, at the reality is, like we're dealing with right now, the concrete company we're using, which is exceptional, right? We have other client needs that are happening at the same time. And it just so happens that my build is happening uh, in the exact moment that we have some of our client builds, you know, at the same phase and, and stage of construction. And so of course our client's projects are gonna take precedent and so I know um, Ryan, who's been working on this with me, he's always like, hey, Brad, you know, what's the priority? Is it this project or yours? And of course, it's always going to be the, our, our client related project. The reason being is that, you know, that's the priority that we've given our clients and we told them that it's going to be their home first. And so for us, it's really important as we go into a build of this magnitude and for our first one to have that expectation that we know that ours will not be the first order priority uh, under construction. And it's something we have to tell our children too, so that they're patient and learn the value of patients, right? That it's gonna be more important that, you know, our subcontractors are, are finishing those projects under, uh, that we have under contract that have dates that are really impactful for our clients, right? That they've planned for a long time on these builds. They have life events happening that are, are catered around that schedule and how important that schedule is. So with that in mind, again, this is not the highest priority for ourselves, but again, you know, it doesn't mean that we're uh, lacking any attention to detail or quality because that'll be first and foremost just like every project we have at AFT.